PZTV reports coming to you from Liberty Park in Salt Lake. This park is used for a variety of events throughout the year, but today we're going to attend a very special competition, scale it back a few years, and dive into the world of medieval sword fighting. This is a tournament um, we're hosting it between three different schools that are here today. Um, it's just, we do a tournament either once a year or once every six months just to get together, test our skills, see how far we've progressed. Uh, historically European martial arts, uh, we practice about 13th through 16th century uh, European martial arts. Uh, we, our primary focus is longsword, uh, though we do practice uh, messer, we do practice short sword and buckler, we do some dagger work. Uh, we practice from various texts of masters of that time period. So uh, Fjord, Meyer, uh, Lichtenauer were people that wrote down their teachings of that time period and then we've taken those texts and then we are interpreting and practicing that art. I'm going to be fighting in the synthetic tournament and the steel tournament. So in the steel we're going to be using uh, what's called a long sword. It's just a two-handed sword and it's going to be steel and in the, in the synthetic I am going to be fighting with a mix of weapons, since I can't use synthetic longsword. Curved sabers, and large knives, and daggers, and swords and shields. I mean, it's a martial art, so there's some, certainly some degree of physical training. Uh, a lot of times we will start class with some basic warm-up cuts or drills, uh, get an idea of, get used to the te technique, and then we will move on to drilling. So we'll pick a technique or two that we are practicing for the day and then we'll usually split into either free sparring well, where we'll let people just go off and practice the technique in a sparring situation or we'll do ring matches like is what we're doing here where we have a center judge, side judges, and people are actually going to a specific point value. So this is a Polish saber. Uh, it's a curved saber from Poland in the 17th century primarily. It's primarily used for slashing and chopping. And then this is just a basic one-handed sword or short sword or arming sword. You can call it so many different things. Pretty straightforward. Everyone used to use this back in the day. Sometimes you'd pair it with what's called a buckler. It's just a small shield that's light and portable, easy to carry around. This is the Messer. And Messer is a German word and it means knife. Now, back then, they, a lot of people couldn't really carry around swords, so they just made these, and since it's constructed like a knife, it was therefore considered a knife and not a sword, so they could get away with carrying it around. We often say fighting starts at the feet, <laughs> um, so your footwork is actually extremely important, and then reading your opponent is also quite important because you need to know when they're striking at you and you need to be able to defend. There's usually bruises, like at, at a bare minimum. Um, Full-blown injuries aren't super common. Uh, there's the occasional broken finger. Uh, beyond that, we try to make sure people are practicing with control so as to not injure each other. Uh, in martial arts, we go off of a point-based system, but in real life, if for the people who practice this back in that day and age, uh, you always want to make sure you're defended. <laughs> because in real life, you only get to lose once. <laughs> Ever since I watched Lord of the Rings when I was like eight years old, I've just always been into swords. I just got together with, them, with some friends and we thought, man, I wanna do some, some, some stuff over the summer. And we found this and yeah, we haven't looked back. I am part of the UCSA. So we primarily train here at the park. Anyone can come and join. Uh, usually we get people that come by and watch. There is a global HEMA community. Um, there's international events. Uh, Long Point is a big one that takes place on the East Coast. Uh, SoCal is coming up here in February. Combat Con happened just a couple months back. And for those, people come from all around the world. It's kind of a mix of just footwork and just blocking at the right time. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. If you are interested in joining this fun activity, you can go to theucsa.com or trueedgeacademy.com. Those are two schools here in Salt Lake. They'd love to have you. This is PCTV Reports. We'll be back.